Good day, learners! You have learned in the previous lesson that weather disturbances refer to any disruption of the atmosphere's stable condition which can manifest through the formation of low pressure area or different prevailing winds like monsoon and the intertropical convergence zone or the ITCZ. You have also learned the classification of cyclones according to the strength of wind changes of weather before, during, and after a typhoon, as well as how to determine the strength of typhoon through public storm warning signals. Do you know that there is another factor that affects the weather? The moon affects the weather in a way that when it is high in the sky, it creates bulges in the planet's atmosphere that makes changes in the amount of rainfall. Now, you will learn more about the moon, its faces that represent the pattern in the changes in its appearance. The moon is the only natural satellite of the Earth. A satellite is an object that revolves around a larger object. The moon does not produce its own light. It only reflects the light coming from the sun. Since the moon is revolving around the earth, the amount of light it reflects from the sun varies as it changes its position. The moon's appearance changes from time to time. It is because the lighted portion on the moon changes as it moves around the earth. This obvious change in the appearance of the moon is known as the phases of the moon. The moon has eight phases, four primary phases and four intermediate phases. The moon goes these eight phases in 29 and a half days. The period it takes for the moon to complete the phases is called month. New moon. This occurs when the moon is between the sun and the earth. In this position, it is the dark side of the moon that is facing the earth. During this phase, the moon is not visible from the earth. Next phase is waxing crescent. After a new moon, when the moon seems to be growing, it is undergoing a waxing phase. As the moon starts to appear in a semicircular form, waxing crescent starts to appear. Then we have first quarter. This phase of the moon happens when half of the moon's face is lighted up. Whether it is left or right depends on where you are located on Earth. The first quarter moon rises around the midday and is visible in the day sky. Waxing Gibbous when the moon is between quarter moon and the full moon, the moon is called gibbous. During this phase, the most portion of the moon is visible in the sky. Waxing means that the moon is getting bigger. Next, we have full moon. A week after the first quarter moon, you can see the whole lighted side of the moon. This phase is called full moon. A full moon appears at the inner circle in the night sky.
waning gibbous. After the full moon, the waning phase of the moon starts. It is when the moon appears to be getting smaller each night. Last quarter On the third week of the month, the half of the moon's lighted side will again be visible. This is called the last quarter moon. And the last phase of the moon is waning crescent. Crescent means less than half of the moon is lighted. Waning crescent is a phase where the moon is nearing to the completion of the cycle. We come now to the beliefs and practices associated with the moon. Faces of the moon are often associated with superstitious beliefs. During the ancient times, people believed that the moon has a big influence in their lives. They used the moon as guide. The moon tells when to plant and when to harvest. The moon also gives them a sign about the weather. These beliefs and practices were passed from generation to generation. In modern times, some of these beliefs and practices are still part of the lives of some people. However, because of mass continuous search for evidence, what used to be a mere belief yesterday can have a scientific explanation today. Moon and planting Many farmers believe that planting, when the moon is in specific phase, may bring good harvests. It is because the growth rate of plants can be affected by them. The different phases of the moon influence the groundwater beneath the earth and affects the movement of fluids within plants. Moon and Weather When the Sun, Moon and Earth line up and the Moon is its perigee or closest to the Earth, you can expect lower temperature. This is due to the combined gravitational pull of the Moon and the Sun. During full Moon, it causes a bulge in the ocean. Recap The faces of the moon are New moon Waxing crescent First quarter Waxing gibbous Full moon Waning gibbous Last quarter And waning crescent That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye.